Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Wire, and today we are doing another bracelet tutorial. This one is not an original, it's actually pretty much the same as one I did before, but this one has a buckle and the last one did not. So if you want to see this same bracelet but you want to see it without a buckle, there will be a link in the description to that. So for this you're going to need about six feet of two different colors of cord. It's about one foot of cord for every inch of your wrist for each separate color. And you're also going to need a buckle. There'll be a link to all those in the description. So the first thing you're going to do is just going to go ahead and clip the ends of those two cords. And then you're going to melt them together. Try to make sure this has a good seal. If it doesn't, you can always either melt the side and try to fix it or just pull it apart and redo it. You're gonna go a little off of that connected part and then bend the cord. And then you're going to take that part and run it down through the buckle. Now run those two cords down through that loop and then tighten that. Wrap those two cords around making a loop and then pull them down through the end of the buckle. And you're just going to go ahead and measure this around your wrist. You have to be a little tighter than how I show it here because mine ended up being a little bit loose. And now you're going to pick which color is going to go on which side. So you're going to want your outer cord to be on the left side. So as you can see, mine is not because I wanted the walnut to be the outer cord. So I just go ahead and do one cobra stitch here. If the color you want to be on the outside is already on the left for you, then you don't have to do a cobra stitch. Just go ahead and skip that step. Like I said, for me, I need to do a cobra stitch. So I'm just going to take that left strand, put it over the middle two strands. Take the right strand, wrap it over that strand behind the two middle strands and up through that left loop. And I'm just going to tighten that. So this is where the pattern starts. So you're going to take your left cord and make an S in front of the two middle cords. And you're just going to take your right cord and cross it over the middle of all those things, putting it in the bottom left corner there. And then it's going to go behind the two middle strands and up through that bottom right loop. And you're just going to tighten all of that. When you do that, make sure that top walnut cord is tight. Also, you want to make sure to continue to pull all of this up towards the top of the buckle. Also, as you can see here, you want to make sure that these two walnut cords are flush with each other. You don't want the top walnut cord to be sticking out over that bottom walnut cord, if that makes any sense. And then you're going to try that around your wrist. 
Now you're just going to repeat the pattern. So take your left chord and make an S in front of the two middle strands. Take your right chord and cross over, putting it in the bottom left corner. And then you want to wrap it around, pull it up through that right loop. And then you're just going to tighten all that up to the top once again. And you're just going to keep doing those until you get down to the bottom. As you continue to tighten this, the bracelet will kind of automatically curl into a bracelet shape by itself because there's less cord on the back of the bracelet than there is in the front. Once you get down to the bottom, you try to do as many of those as you can. And you're just going to tighten those last two strands and then go ahead and clip and singe them. And then you're done. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I just want to let you guys know that I am going to be putting more time into these videos and making better tutorials. I'm constantly trying to improve my content, so if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I appreciate all your guys' feedback. It really helps me out. Like I said, a little while ago I did launch that store, so there'll be a link to that in the description if you want to check it out. I'm selling this pattern bracelet with or without the buckle, so check it out if you want to buy one, or just go ahead and make it <laughs> using this tutorial. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.